Okay, how to fix a car battery. There's loads and loads of videos of this on YouTube, um, but listen, I think I can do it better. Um, right, first things first, uh, they contain sulfuric acid. Um, that's going to do you some damage. Get it in your eyes, you've got an issue, get it in your trousers, it's going to rot them. There's all kinds of problems um, with sulfuric acid. Um, so, be careful or don't do it. Okay, all 12 volt batteries are, consist of six cells. You can actually see them usually if you look carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all equally spaced and what you've got to do, usually, is to get a bit more um, distilled water back into a battery. Now this one has been, it's only six months old, it's been in the field um, and it's been used to um, do the electric fence. So it's been let go flat and then charged hard and yeah, it's just ruined basically, it won't take a charge at all. All you do is you need to find yourself uh, a way into each one of those cells, measure it out and first stop yourself carefully. Usually, if you wrap a bit of tape, if you wrap a bit of tape around the drill bit, um, you can actually um, only let it go in so far. One hole. That's not so easy with one hand, but obviously I've done the rest before. So all you've got here is you've got six little holes going into six little cells, and you won't be able to see it, but every single cell is bone dry. All you do is you top them up. All you've got to do is top it up above the level of the uh, the cells, uh, sorry, of the plates in there. Now, ideally, it depends on what you're using your battery for. Ideally, you're looking at using distilled or deionized water. Now, I'm guessing, being as this battery is ruined and you want to fix it, you don't have any. Uh, other alternatives, rainwater is good, um, especially if you can get it clean without loads of bugs and muck in it. But rainwater is good. Or, at a pinch, I know everyone's going to criticise me for this one, but at a pinch, you can always put in um, <clears throat> tap water. It's worked for me. Um, so, all you're doing is you're going to top it up to above the plates. It's really difficult to see. Um, and I wouldn't, don't do this with anything except plastic, or you're going to end up with electrocuting. Oh, well, not electrocuting, but you can end up with um, it touching the plates. But you can actually see with this one, there's absolutely nothing in there at all. Um, it will take a surprising amount of water, actually. They always do. Um, so top up each one, and then you're left with six little holes. Now, here's my favorite. Sticks like, in white, just the boy. Get a little blob, fill in each one. Like that. Don't pour it right in, obviously. Just sort of you know, smear a bit across, and then sort of blob it on the top so it sits each one. And there you have a battery that will, not initially, but will take a charge. Um, a suggestion is put it in a trickle charge for a day or two and then run it over to, to proper charging. Um, but that, in 99% of cases, will rejuvenate a dead battery. Um, as I say, if you use tap water, don't expect it to last too long because that will do nasty stuff to the plates. Um, but it's worth a go um, and it costs you almost nothing to do. Again, be careful with the acid. You get that in the face, you've got a problem. You get it on the trousers, you've got a problem. Um, it will burn. Um, there we are. Hope that helps.